All right, guys, I'm going to show you kind of a basic overview of the software and UI that is built on the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. And the one thing that's really different about this tablet than other Android tablets is there is a sort of software or skin on top of the Android operating system. And Amazon has done that to kind of keep you in their ecosystem. So everything you do on here is built into Amazon. So when you actually first load up the Kindle and turn it on, it's gonna ask you to enter in your Amazon ID so everything is linked together. Now I have it here in landscape mode. Of course you can uh, do everything in portrait mode just for the video, it's easier this way. So. On your main screen here, you're gonna have all of your recently opened applications or books or music or whatever you've had open recently. Um, you can instantly go into each one of these through this little carousel right here. Um, just for, you know, if you were just in something, you can get right back in very easily. At the top is where you're gonna find everything that you're gonna need. So there's a strip here that has all of your stuff. So first you have shop, so we'll click into there. And this brings you to the Amazon store where you can buy everything. You can buy apps, videos, books, um, music, everything in there can be bought in the store. Um, works really easily if, you know, this is a perfect thing if you wanna go ahead and buy something. Get out of there, just hit our home button over here, and we're back home. Games, it's the same thing. So what's cool about this is though, you have two different options here. You can store stuff in Amazon's cloud. So you, you know, this, this tablet only has 16 gigabytes of memory, and if you're loading a ton of games or a ton of anything on here, it's gonna take up that space. So um, these are games that are stored in the cloud and then you can see what's actually stored on the device by hitting device. We don't have any games stored in the device, um, but that's for everything. So you're gonna see this option for all of your games, apps, music, and I think um, magazines and things like that. So you can store all that stuff in the cloud. So, you know, say you don't wanna have something on there, but you still wanna have it. It's still gonna be in your library. You can easily store it in the cloud. So let's get out of here, um, hit home and we'll go to apps, same thing. Um, here you can see what's on our device and we can go into what's in the cloud, same thing. Um, all these apps launch very easily, um, you know, right off the bat, no problem whatsoever. Go back home and we'll go into books and this is the same thing. So you can see our books here that I do have stored in the cloud and the ones that are actually on my device. You can see they're different. So the ones that are in the cloud, I can go ahead and hit and I can download them to my device anytime I want, anytime I have a connection to the internet. Going back home again, we'll go to our music. Again, we don't have any music on this device yet. Again, I just got it. Um, but here you will see all your music. You can um, actually purchase music directly from Amazon store or you can click over here to your library and see what music you have stored in the cloud and again on your device, but I don't have anything on there just yet. Again, going back home, we can go to videos. And again, I don't have anything stored on this device as far as videos yet. You can go ahead and um, again, purchase directly from the store here. So you can see how this is all linked into the store. Everything is kind of really linked into Amazon's ecosystem. They want you to purchase from them obviously um, when it comes to books, videos, and music. Again, here's a store that comes up because I don't have anything, but I can go into my library. Again, I don't have anything, but again, they give you the cloud and device option. Going back home again, newsstand is for magazines. So you, you can subscribe to magazines directly from the device, you know, get them every month or however often they show up. Um, a lot of these are free. A lot of these, you get a lot of 30 day free trials on these. So if you want to check them out, you can obviously do that as well. Going back home again, we go to audiobooks. Same thing here, brings you again to the Amazon store and shows you different audiobooks. But again, if you have some, you can go into your library and see them. Back home again. And we're gonna go to web. And they, are, they have their own web browser. Um, it works pretty well in my experience. Um, although you can install other, other uh, You can install other uh, web browsers on here. We're gonna go into some articles on that later on the site, but here's the computers and you can see that it loads pretty well. Um, I can zoom in here and you know, we can scroll through here and you can see it, it, it is, it's a decent web browser, not the best I've seen for mobile, but a good web browser, it's gonna get the job done, especially you know if you're doing some basic web browsing on a lot of sites. Um, we'll go back home here and uh, we'll go to photos. And this allows you to see, uh, you, again, you can store stuff on the cloud and you can see the photos on your device. I took one a couple minutes ago myself. Of course, nobody wants to see that. You can also go here and go into the camera. So this does have a, 
a camera that actually faces us. So we're actually looking at the ceiling right now. Um, let me see if I can tilt this up. She so can actually see what we're looking at here. Um, but then again, you can take pictures on the device and everything like that. We'll go back home. And um, we also have docs with any documents or anything. So I've loaded some PDFs on here um, from a different eBooks that I've been reading and things like that. Um, easy to open, see all your documents. You know, again, stored on the, that's on the device. And then you can also store stuff in the cloud as well. And then finally you have offers. So uh, there are offers on this device, different things you can buy, different things you can have on a discount. And they're all right here. Um, you know, Amazon will update these every once in a while to give you different offers, different discounts on different things that are of course in their marketplace. We go back home. One thing that's really cool about this device um, that I've liked is you do get a free month of Amazon Prime. And with that, you can do quite a lot. You can rent books, which I have done. Um, I'll go to my book here. Um, that I'm reading. And this is a rented book. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, well actually it is in landscape mode so you guys can see. Um, if you're familiar with the Kindle Reader on Android, this is pretty much the same thing. Um, you know, But what's cool about this book is that I rented it. Um, there's a lender's library built into the Amazon store for Prime members, which is really cool I think. Um, it gives a lot of books so you don't have to go out and be spending all this money on books. You know, you pay, I think it's $90 a year for the Prime and you go ahead and you can rent a, quite a lot of books. Um, and beyond just books, let's go ahead and get out of here, go home. Besides just books, you can instantly stream a ton of movies and a ton of um, different TV shows as well. So I'm gonna go over here and I've, I was streaming Transformers um, and it streams actually really well. And this will give you an idea of quality of the speakers as well. So we're gonna instantly stream this. Um, I'm halfway through, I think. So you can see, and we'll get all this other stuff out of the way here, and we'll maximize this. So you can see the quality there too. It is HD um, streaming, and it streams instantly. This is all with your Prime membership. Um, so you can see it looks really, really good here. Now what's really cool, what I was actually surprised about with the streaming is, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. Actually, I'll play, and we'll, we'll skip forward a little bit. You can see how fast it picks up. This has been a problem with a lot of different streaming services that I've noticed is they don't pick up that quickly. You have to wait a while, so let's go ahead. And let's go ahead and move this up about, I don't know, 15 minutes up in the movie here. And you can see just like that, we're instantly back to watching the movie. We fast forwarded, no problem whatsoever. Um, again, another really cool thing about this, and you can hear the music. I'll let it play here for a second. So as you can, you know, you heard in everything that this does sound really good. Um, it's not going to be that crazy sound that you would expect from a PC or something like that, but you are going to be able to, you know, have this in your hand and you, you can be watching a movie or TV show without any issues. Of course, if you want more sound isolation, there is a headphone jack so you can go ahead and plug in your headphones. If you want to make any changes or anything like that to the device, to the settings, change Wi-Fi, change brightness and all that, all you have to do here is just go down and swipe down and you're gonna have all of your notifications right here, and then you're gonna have different settings, you know, volume, brightness, um, everything like that. Now, not everything is in here, so you can click on more, and that's gonna bring you into all of your different settings for everything in the actual tablet. Really easy to get to. Of course, when you're done, you can just hit home, and you're back to the main screen. That's basically it for a basic rundown, you know, the overview of the Kindle Fire HD. Very good product in my opinion. Um, I really like the size, especially for reading. Among everything else, I think this is the perfect device for reading books um, and things like that. So that has been it. Make sure to check back on thinkcomputers.org for the full written review of this product. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.